Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays for Lunky. Those are some words that I didn't think I would be saying for quite some time. Northern Lion! That's a name I've not heard for quite some time. In any case, I'll go further into why that quote is relevant to me right now. Uh, but in any case, I just want to reiterate as we play a little bit more Spelunky, this is not a resurrection of the regular Spelunky uploads. Um, this Playing this for a couple of videos doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be posting a new Spelunky video every day, but I thought, you know what? I've got this new capture device. I not only want to test it, but I want to kind of jump into some old favorites. Uh, so why don't we check out Spelunky? It has been goddamn forever. I'm jumping in. Obviously, it's not sight on scene because I probably have like a hundred hours spent in this game. Uh, but it's been a while since I played Spelunky. At least two or three months. Uh, but we're going to give this a try regardless. In any case, I don't hold out an awful lot of hope. Obviously, I guess our overarching goal is still to try to get to... Uh, I was going to say the chest, but uh, to get to hell. Now, I'm just trying to remember how to do things and not get killed here, which seems like... Uh, it's probably not gonna work out all that well for us. Please have mercy! Anyway, the reason I had that, like, Northern Lion, there's a name I've not heard for quite some time quote in my head. It's because I was in the shower this morning. I love how we've uh, immediately gone back into conversational style, like, as soon as I've booted up Spelunky, but... I was in the shower this morning, and I was like, you know what? It would be great if somebody made, like, a movie about YouTube Let's Playing in the same style as, like, an underdog sports movie. Like, uh, I, I, the genesis of this is I saw it parried on, uh, one of the Michelin web shows, but in any case... Uh, where if, like, a bunch of people were in a bar and, like, they just lost their jobs and they're like, Man, what are we gonna do for money? And then they open up the newspaper and it's like, YouTube Let's Playing Tournament in- Oh, God! YouTube Let's Playing Tournament in Las Vegas! And then someone goes like, YouTube Let's Playing. That's a name I've not heard for quite some time. That might not make any sense at all. Anyway, we have the Matic here. If I remember correctly, the Ancient Scrolls indicated, uh, the Matic is very useful for gaining money. However, it was also... Just before I stopped, like, just before I quit Spelunky, basically, I believe the Matic, uh, became nerfed to the point where, uh, it actually, like, the, it was actually a glitch where, uh, it normally didn't break if you took it down to the next floor, whereas now it 100% it does break. So we can basically just abuse the Matic as much as possible on this floor, and we don't really lose anything as a result of that. Of course, we could try to carry it with us if there's not much... Uh, holding us here, but at the same time, you know, if it breaks, it breaks, basically. There's no kind of end game for this Matic beyond it eventually breaking regardless. So, the, you know, the more money we can get on this floor, the better. We are going to do fine for health, despite the fact that I uh, effed up a little bit earlier. And I'd say we are done with our first floor. Apart from that fall that would have killed a lesser man, we did get the damsel, we got the Matic, and we got 12,800. Now, let me just recall, not only a refresher course for you guys, but for me as well. What do we need? Dental plan. Now, what do we need in order to uh, get to the? Please don't break. Thank you. Uh, in order to get to hell and the city of gold. The city of gold first, then hell. First things first. We need to get the Ujat eye. There's no question about that. We need to buy the Ankh. I wonder if we can make this work. I'm gonna doubt it, but we'll see. Um, we need to get the Ankh from the black market. After that, we need to die on the ice level. That has the dude's head on it, okay. And then we beat Anubis 1, get the staff, that combines with the hedget. Combining the staff with the hedget allows us to go through that golden door and get to the City of Gold. In the City of Gold, we get the Necronomicon. And I believe that then opens up the door to hell when we are fighting against uh, Olmec. Well, it's, it's pretty crazy, you know. I, I can't believe that I actually remember all the stuff that there is to do there. We are definitely... You know what? We might as well actually buy a bomb box. We've been doing fine for health... Or, sorry, fine for money so far. Um, it's amazing that when you're in Spelunky, like when you play a shit ton of it, that doesn't seem that crazy. But as soon as you get out of Spelunky, all of a sudden it's like, wait, it's like a 25-step process? Yes, indeed! And that's why it's fairly difficult. That's why everyone's like... People ask me this question. They're like, are you gonna... Are you ever gonna get to hell in Spelunky? Man! Do you not understand? Have you not been paying attention? That's not for me to decide, man. That's for Spelunky to decide. Or for me to practice for like hours and hours and hours, which, you know, is not necessarily uh, the wrong move, I guess. I'm gonna throw the dog over there. He bounced over the spikes and then he'll immediately walk on them and die. Why I watched that happen as opposed to, you know, helping him at some point? That's a very good question. Uh, I, you know, I'm out of practice with Spelunky. There's coming some SLACK here. 
Also, cut me some S-L-A-C-K for spelling words instead of saying them. That is an annoying habit that I'm going to try to resolve over the course of this video, which, if, you know, previous videos are any indication, should stretch anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes in length. In any case, let's make our way over here. So far, so good. We're still doing fine. Oh, that was real silly. Uh, still doing fine uh, from a money standpoint, although certainly uh, I would like to do finer, if that makes sense. Which actually, the university I went to that stood for first years not in residence. So all of a sudden I feel a little bit weird about saying it. But in any case, the gold bars or gold dust now belongs to us. Next thing you know, we'll get Stone Cold Steve Austin and we'll start our own wrestling league. Oh, are you kidding me? With hookers and blackjack. In any case, 16 bombs but now very low on health. And uh, I am slightly concerned for our future chances. But in any case... Let's move forwards and try to stay alive. Uh, spitting snake is annoying, but crate is beautiful. Obviously, number one priority right now is to get to that Ujedi, because if we do get the Ujedi, we'll be able to go to the black market already. I'm falling back into my old spelunky habits, for better or worse. I was really hoping that would destroy the pot, and it did. Uh, although we didn't really gain too much out of it. This Matic has- oh, come on! You spawned Fabio right next to the exploding or the spitting snake? Hardly seems fair. I guess we could sacrifice his body at the altar of our gods if we so chose. Um, but kind of seems like a an end not befitting the world's most handsome man in any case. So far, so good. Uh, here, Matic has proved it's worth... Oh, I dropped it there, but that's okay. It ended up killing someone. Matic has proved it's uh, worth, absolutely, and continues to, despite the fact that I'm worried that it's going to break any second now. But, sadly, oh, well, not sadly, but positively, it does not. Now, do we have anything in here worth spending a rope on? Does not appear so. If the Ujet Eye was up there, I absolutely would have gone for it. We have uh, some gold bars and gold nuggets down here. Want to make sure to jump on those guys just in case they come back to life. Obviously, the scorpion is going to be our, our main concern moving immediately. Oh! oh! Okay. What did I tell you? Goddamn scorpion, man. Um... Let's throw this pot down there. There's a gem. Now, I would love to... Does anyone else Spelunky remember this gem? Etc, etc. Anyway, uh, we're not going to be able to get health on this floor, so I should be real cautious. Because we... Oh, there is the Ujet Eye, by the way. Okay, so that's priority number one. Forget what I was about to say. Uh, we need to get that key and carry this treasure chest out of here. Uh, hopefully the key is not up on this level, or else I have made a huge mistake. In any case, that worked pretty well, but then it fell into a big pit of scorpions, which was, uh, probably the worst possible course of action there. And there's our key. Please don't come back to life, Skeletor. Okay, he's dead. We grab the key, and now we start throwing things at our enemies. To try to kill them. Uh, the bomb will work, I think. Well, well, it was placed well. Please don't blow up the chest. Good. It did blow up the scorpions. We get the Ujad Eye. Uh, and combined with the Matic, now we have amazing kind of potential for getting gold and gems, which is great for us. If we can just get to 50 thou, I would be totally psyched. Now, let's just try not to die, because that could, uh, you know, put a real damper on things. There is a gem up there, uh, and there's another one up here, so it's probably worth using one rope. We're going to be able to get, like, at least a couple of thousand as a result, uh, unless that ghost comes. But the ghost isn't really a one-shot kill in this situation. Considering everything is a one-shot kill, if that makes sense. So I have no reason to fear the ghost more than your standard enemy. In any case, it is through to the exit, and we're almost done with the mines. To be quite honest, I didn't expect to be doing this well on my first run back at the old, you know, spelunky business here. We still do want to get about 12,000 on this floor, which is uh, not out of the question, but perhaps a little bit of a, a heady goal, given the average. But all we have to do on this floor is really survive. Beyond that, uh, everything else is just gravy. So let's just not take fall damage. That's a, a big part of survival. Uh, and we'll get as much... Oh, I would love to get those climbing gloves, but I don't think we can possibly afford it. Paste is going to be a big one, too. Um, let's just make our way down. Obviously, the damsel's important, the gold's important, and the scorpion, as you might expect, scares the shit out of me. Uh, how are we going to make this work? Because that scorpion is going to jump at us as soon as we drop down here, and of course there's going to be a spitting snake uh, right afterwards. I think uh, we put a rope down... And then we come down a little bit, and I try, I'm try. i trying to throw a bomb to kind of get him off there. That worked perfectly. I mean, we still have an issue, and that issue is now Angry Spider. Which I'm not... I thought I blew it up there. I think we're safe... Th okay, if we, we gotta worry about the spider. <clears throat> Let's take L Lady down first. Uh, she's gonna fall off the edge. 
Is the spider still down here or did it die? Spider's still down here. Okay, lady, you're gonna be safe down here. Now, we just don't want to trigger that spider. This is a very delicate operation that we've got going on here. Uh, that scorpion's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Our lady friend is down here. To again, totally safe. Now, that bomb is not gonna work, but it might create a place for us to throw other bombs. This is why, you know, you buy 16 bombs. It's not necessarily a bad idea. We're gonna run. This is gonna seem silly. I want that paste, no question. But first, oh, oh! I apologize for the microphone clipping. I did not realize that spider could jump so high. I thought we were totally safe. That's why I was like, yeah, we've got this sweet, like, one dirt pixel barrier between us. Apparently, that was not enough. Who knew? You know who would have known? Michael A.L. Fox would have known. That's why I brought him here to talk about Spelunky with us today. Actually, he's not here, unfortunately, as much as I wish that he was. Nice dude, but also, I was gonna say he's busy, but really, I just didn't ask him. Fuck you, Mike. In any case, if you're interested in seeing some higher level Spelunky play, you know where to go. YouTube.com slash Michael A.L. Fox. But in any case, he won that rivalry. But I'll get him back at some point. Maybe when this comes out on PC, I'll invest more time in it. But in any case, all is not lost yet. I would consider this video a success if we made it to the black market. That is a very modest form of success, uh, but would be welcome regardless. So we're just gonna play a little bit more patiently. Keep in mind that last run was the first time I played Spelunky in... three or four months? Probably since like October or November 2012, and it is now March, so you know, we're looking at four to five months actually. So I need a little bit of, of your uh, sympathy and lenience when it comes to mistakes. We're still not, you know, Spelunky scrubs, at least not totally, uh, but you know, not at the skill level that I was at before, which was already fairly weak. I say we kind of leave this floor already, unless there's something amazing up here. Uh, there is, you know, 1,500 in gold, which is pretty sizable. And we only need to get about 10,000 per floor. I believe that was my marker before. 10 to 12,500. Let's take a little sip of our coffee as we spelunk here. No use going down in the mines with a li without a little bit of dank brew to help you out. Every time I say dank, I feel like I'm a fucking 16-year-old stoner. And I apologize for that, but that's kind of what makes it so funny in my head. Alright, so no spiders contained within those pots, which is awesome. Now, I, when I say no spiders in those pots, I feel like I sound like a wannabe 16-year-old stoner. How many pots have you smoking, man? Anyway, we're gonna be getting out of here in the spike zone. Uh, there is the key, which means the Ujat Eye is here. There is also an idol. Oh, be careful. Thank you, spider, for triggering that arrow trap. Uh, there's also a spider, which we killed, uh, but this key is gonna be our main point of interest here. So we really don't want to leave this part of the floor without getting the chest. So as much as it pains me to waste a rope doing this, I'm doing it just to make sure we can traverse the entire upper part of this floor in order to make sure that I'm not losing uh, an opportunity to get the chest. Which we were not. We ended up picking up 500 gold for the cost of that rope, which is not a good value. Uh, I could always come back up and get that... Oh, why would I just walk into the spider? Stupid! Anyway. Uh, we're gonna kill that spider. That guy didn't come to life, which is awesome. We're gonna kill this spider. And our key is still in a good situation. We're gonna use this key as a, like, all-purpose tool. Trigger arrow traps. We have- oh, there's our chest. Beautiful. So we fell in exactly the right region. Now! It's absolutely worth it to buy the jetpack. In this situation. It's gonna cost us a staggering amount of money. And an amount of money that might be possible, or might be impossible to recover from. How much is it? 20,000? Jesus Christ. Uh, it might be impossible to recover from this and still get 50,000, but the jetpack is so valuable uh, that I feel like it is a smart decision just to ensure our survival. Again, if we end up not making amazing things happen on this run, so be it, you know? Shit happens. This is my first run back in Spelunky, and I'm definitely going to record at least one or two more Spelunky videos today. Uh, because, you know, not only, again, do I enjoy the game, but it's a good opportunity to test out my new capture device. By the way, if you're interested in asking questions about, um, you know, other such series that might be making a return, now that I have a new, uh, console capturing device, feel free to do so. However, I will be posting a channel update video soon that will hopefully answer all of your questions, uh, in, in one simple place, rather than asking in YouTube comments where people get pissed off. Don't you watch every single one of Northern Lions videos? His HD PBR broke! But at the same time, I thank you, like, sincerely to those people for making sure that I don't have to answer every single one of those questions individually, uh, because that's the way I have done things in the past. In any case, that arrow trap scares the shit out of me, but I think it's already gone, because otherwise we would have been killed. 
Uh, we'll come down here. This crate is absolutely valuable. We're gonna toss a rope to make it happen, unless I, you know, I, might, I have no excuse to toss a rope to make it happen when I can just go over here and pick up some arrows by way of my dope-ass jetpack. That works totally fine. We get some more ropes in here, and we're making money! Not nearly as much as we need to. We've discovered PewDiePie hiding down here in his cave, so we'll pick him up and we'll carry him down to the exit. Uh, where is the exit anyway? The good thing about jetpack in particular is that we can just kind of roll straight to the exit and we don't have to worry about leaving areas behind. Because unless I run out of fuel, uh, we have basically zero risk to ourselves. So, oh, I didn't even throw. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. As soon as the pot didn't throw, I was like, okay, we're setting ourselves up for some kind of despair here. Anyway, that bat is dead, thanks to my sweet aerial throw. Might as well kill this last pot. Nothing is in it. Um, is there any more ex exploration for us to do? Is there any value in that? I don't think so. So we might end up having to kill our shopkeepers in order to pick up the Ankh. If that is the case, that's real shitty, and hopefully I would be able to get a shotgun, I guess, from them and then fight my way out. Or get a ton of bombs and bomb my way out after blowing up Mr. Ankh. Because uh, he is down in like the bottom right corner. Uh, I'd probably still take like six or seven bombs at the very least, but in any case, we're gonna try. We're gonna start trying to get to 50,000. Maybe we'll get lucky and the, um, the black market will be like later on the level. Or later on the, um, whoa, that was close. Uh, later on the temple to kind of reduce confusion there. That was terrible as well. So we're gonna basically um, want to get to. Uh, are you kidding me? Okay, stay low here. I, I seriously thought I hit the jetpack there and caused it to go, like, made it go up. I guess we, there's a bat there we can't do anything about. Um, in any case, we're probably going to die any second. Oh, God, we got a boomerang. That's good. Uh, we're probably going to die any second now. I would love to get to the temple, or the, not the temple, the jungle at some point on this run. It's looking increasingly unlikely, though, due to my own ineptitude. Free paste is fantastic, as is whatever is contained in this chest, which is 1,800 in gems. Uh, if we can get the damsel here, we can start making our way back from despair. Uh, and there are gems in there, so I do feel like it's worth it to throw my boomerang at this. Uh, kind of- OH! What the- Did the boomerang lose? It, it, it suddenly became not my boomerang, it became a boomerang of the state after I threw it? I guess after it exploded, uh, in that, uh, you know, Halifax explosion of 1918. It decided, you know, fuck you, man. You're throwing me into some reckless situations here. Well, fuck you too, Boomerang. You were the chosen one. You were meant to restore balance to Spelunky, not destroy me. In any case, though, let's start breaking these pots. Uh, again, there's PewDiePie. We should turn it on to full Monty's, if you know what I mean. But for now, uh, we're going to have to deal with male and female damsels. You know, if, if you're into dudes or ladies, I'm not judging your preferences, but I'm a dog man, personally. Big sloppy Monty. Pug kisses, in any case. Let us move onwards here. I don't know why this man falls asleep as soon as we pick him up. It's like we're not rocking him to sleep and singing Hush Little Baby Don't Say a Word or anything like that. We're just kind of, we're running through a, a very dangerous geography here. Like, you should probably stay awake. Maybe I need you to be my co-driver or something. You know, like, shout out what direction these turns are going to be. Or be like, hey, Northern Lion, there's a big arrow trap in front of you. Maybe you should go a different way, so why don't get face-fucked by a projectile? Well, good first floor. No complaints beyond the fact that we don't have any great items, but, you know, we got a lot of, well, not a lot of money, but a decent amount of money. And uh, beyond that, a little bit of health as well, which has apparently been the sore spot so far. So again, a little bit of extra coffee for me as a reward. And we will take a big sloppy PewDiePie kiss there and move onwards. He's got a sweet bow tie on, I'll give him that. Uh, and then let's come over here. And we're gonna try to, uh, I guess, you know, there's, I saw another damsel down there. So we're gonna try to get him, if I can get to 6 health. I've gotta kind of readjust my priorities, because when I used to play Spelunky, it was like, okay, well... Uh, getting damsels early on, not always that important, because you're gonna lose that health anyway when you, uh, proc the Ankh. Or, I guess, use the onk. Proc is a word I'm very much guilty of overusing in probably inappropriate situations. Uh, but that's very much not the case now, because I need this health to survive. I Believe it or not, I was never great at this game, uh, but I'm worse now than I was then. So yes, I did sacrifice the health of my love for uh, a little gold here, but so be it. I didn't mean to do that. That was by far the silliest death that we've had in a damsel so far in this video. Just me th The reason I threw the rock, by the way, was because I was gonna be like, 
You know what? Uh, I want to take the damsel with us. I don't want to hold on to this rock. Just an unlucky bounce has separated us. Oh, where, oh, where could my baby be? Etc., etc. I'm not going to go through the whole Eddie Vedder sign there, or song there. And I realize, by the way, Last Kiss, not originally a Pearl Jam jam. But that is the, the version that I know from my childhood, so that's the way Dad didn't do it. That's the way America did it for a brief point in the year 1999, and it's worked out pretty well so far. We are nearly halfway to 50,000 at the halfway point of our mines levels here. So this is by far, I think, the most successful run we've had. Uh, at least, you know, within this video. Not of all time, of course. We should have six health, but unfortunately I'm kind of an idiot sometimes. And uh, botch that miserably. Now, I don't want anything to do with that spider. Don't ever go there. Nothing but pain awaits you. Scorpion got a little bit on my ass, but that's okay. Now, how are we going to take out the scorpion? Here's how we're going to take him out. Ultimate MLG throw. What did I tell you? Pitch perfect, like an Anna Kendrick movie. Uh, do we jump on him again? Why not? Kill him. Kill him dead. I don't know if we get any extra points for that. By the way, I did. That was terrible. Uh, see the chest down here, or at least the key. There's no way in there except for this, so we might as well uh, pop that bomb down right away. Allow us to get in here. Save uh, our damsel in distress. That spider very nearly got me. Uh, and take our key out of here as well. So first things first, more gold nuggets. Fantastic. Fiscally, we're doing fantastically. Fiscally fantastic sounds like a sweet rap band or something. Rap band! And the widest man in the world award goes to... Northern Lion for the 24th year running! Anyway... There's no way I could be the whitest man in the world, man. I love Illmatic! In any case, we're gonna toss this key down here, then we're gonna go back for the damsel. Spelunky does backtracking right, man. You gotta backtrack a lot, but there's not that much space, and you travel extremely quickly. Of course, that's also my downfall a lot of the time. But, uh, I appreciate it nonetheless. So let's make our way here. Obviously this is our Ujad Eye. Looks like we have a chance to gamble. We're just gonna catch Pietra here. Um, I don't really want that boomerang so much. Not enough to gamble anyway. Uh, and our money situation is looking very good so far. We're gonna get a little bit of health, and I have not lost health in quite some time. Which is fantastic for me. Is it worth a rope to pick up 3,000 gold? In this situation, I feel like that is absolutely worth it. So let's make our way down here. There's another 3,000. We can almost certainly get to 40,000 before the end of this floor just by executing a little bit of a tactical jump up here. Maybe even, yeah, there's another 2,500 up here. So we're doing very, very well. Obviously, the more gold, the better, because I could buy something that is not merely the Ankh on the black market. I could pick up another good item as well. But, Mines Part 1 is done, and we are, sorry, uh, Mines Part 3 is done. And we have uh, basically everything we need to actually make it to the black market later. Again, my modest goal for this video, and kind of for all Spelunky videos because I'm bad, is if we make it to the black market, then I consider that video to be a success. We're very nearly, we, we have all the conditions necessary to meet it basically right now. If we can just get like another five, yeah, 5,700 gold, uh, we'll be totally fine. Just want to make sure this guy's dead. That treasure chest of course appeals to me, but at the same time, uh, it's not worth the risk for the scorpions down there considering I already have uh, nearly enough gold to make this work. So we got another damsel. That was bad damage, but uh, I kind of expected it to happen. And I wasn't too sore about it because, again, our health is totally fine right now. So we're going to rescue the damsel. That is a, a big priority. Uh, we want to trigger this arrow trap as well, which might hit our damsel. Oh, god damn it. Okay, well, there's a rock down. There's several things we can use to trigger this arrow trap. Like so. There we go. So the damsel did get hit, but better him than me. For, you know, mathematical reasons that should be pretty darn obvious. Do we have our exit here? We do indeed. So, fuck that bat. Instead, PewDiePie can just go straight to the exit there. We have gems like crazy. This is probably going to be enough, especially with this area over here, to take us beyond the 50,000 threshold. Let's make this happen, man. Always scared about throwing those pots. That's why the catcher's mitt, or the pitcher's mitt, would be uh, fantastic as well. I missed that item a little bit. So we are, we're probably getting fairly close to, um... Ankh plus compass levels, which is kind of like the first stretch goal after getting just the Ankh, I suppose. If Spelunky is a Kickstarter, the Ankh is just securing your funding. Everything after that is uh, a stretch goal, I suppose, if we're going to use that analogy. So there is another idol there. Idol's actually substantially easier to get. Oh, fuck. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. That's okay. One health is... Oh! 
Black Market. It's around here. We don't have a ton of bombs, so I'm gonna try to do some, like, triangulating here to figure out where the heck I should go. I definitely want to kill Boomerang Man. There we go. So his boomerang is separated from him. It's down. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So we're just gonna put this down here. Uh, I would love to explore a little bit more. But at the same time, okay. I, I just don't want to kill myself. So you know what? Let's just go down to the black market. Again, there we go. This video has been a mild success. Now, obviously, number one priority here. Don't anger the shopkeepers. That's something that I uh, sometimes struggle to accomplish. That's not gonna be good. Seriously, just move away. Uh, yeah, don't attack the shopkeeper skeletons. Simply attack your only friend in this world. The guy who frees you from your immortal coil. Um, so let's just keep going down here. We obviously have some angry frogs. The sequel to Angry Birds. He is dead. We have bought the Ankh. Life is good, friends. Life is good. Now. What? He just stole a boomerang from the shop. Oh, so he gets a... I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. The fucking native tribesmen stole the thing and then now I'm being blamed for it. Well, I guess I might as well pick up a shotgun instead. Fuck you, lady. No! Get him, get him! He killed me, but the Ankh proc. God damn it! Well, you know what? We're going out in a blaze of glory here. I'm gonna hunt these motherfuckers down, assuming I don't die in two seconds, which I did. Alright, so, um, that's a good reintroduction to Spelunky, I guess. Fuck you, Spelunky. Um, thank you guys for watching. Again, I would just like to reiterate, I hope you've enjoyed this return to Spelunky. Don't necessarily expect it to become a regular thing, but I thought I would have some fun with Spelunky today. So there might be a few more videos, uh, on Spelunky coming soon. But in any case, again, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you next time.